Hey, hello, hello there, wonderful people. Oh, it wasn't a wonderful view, was it? The electricity box. Anyway, I am here in Siem Reap in the old market, uh, which it's called the old market, the city center. And this is the market right here. So let's have a little walk about, see what's going on here. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's not big like you see the ones in. Uh, Pen, but it's got everything. Sausages, hello. Hello, hello. Is there sugar in here? Huh? Yeah, is there sugar inside? Sugar? Okay. A lot of sugar? A lot or little? Huh? Hello? A little, little bit of sugar or not? Okay, she can't explain it to me. Anyway, yes, you don't want to eat these. The problem with these with Cambodia is they put sugar in everything, right? And that is a problem for me, particularly because I don't eat sugar or anything with carbohydrates, etc. All right, hello. Now, look at this. We've got Salon here. Hello, ladies. And right opposite, we've got a butcher. That doesn't make sense, but there you go. And what do we got here? Beef. Beef, she can't. They're not very talkative today. What do we got over here? Let's see. I have no idea. Is that pork? Pork? Pork, 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 pork belly, right? How much for the uh, pork belly? One, one kilo? One kilo, four and a half dollar. Okay. Thank you. I will come. I will come and buy it tomorrow. <laughs> not, 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 not tomorrow. Actually, I have to wait a few days to come looking for new apartments. Hello, and we got more. We got ribs. What is that? Ribs? Pork ribs? Uh, how much per kilo? Uh, for the last 60. Huh? For the last 60. 460 per kilo. Mm. How many rib is that? Like this? Like this much? One kilo? Okay. Come on, come on, come on. What do we have here? We have a big uh, bone, cow's bone, I think. Or something like that. And here we got the vegetable section. Hello. How are you doing today? Good? I'm good. Yeah, so we got everything here vegetables, fruits, lovely and. Lovely and fresh. Hello, and eggs. And nuts. I wonder how much the cashew nuts cost. Hello, how are you? <laughs> how much are the cashew nuts? Five fifty. Five fifty. Is this five fifty? One dollar. How much? This is half half kilo. Half kilo. Five five dollar fifty. Five kilo. Okay, and that. Can I try? This one's same? 850. Eight? One kilo. Why? Not cooked. Not cooked. Yeah. cooked. So raw and this is cooked with what? Cooked. With what? Ten dollars cooked. Yeah. With, with oil? Oil? You cook with oil? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh oh, that's not good. Sunflower oil, no thank you. Very, very unhealthy. So you cook it with that? So the raw, the raw? It's more expensive. Not cooked. But this is a this is eight dollar. Eighty three, one kilo. Oh, one kilo and and half a kilo. Half a kilo. So, yeah, four something less than yeah, four twenty five. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I can get half kilo, but that, not now. But I'll get that tomorrow. Yeah, you see, that's very important to know. Because the, sorry, the sun, sunflower oil, canola oil, palm oil, soybean oil is all absolutely toxic and terrible for your health. Yet it, it burns at low temperatures used for high temperature cooking. All right, so that's a big problem. And of course, everybody pretty much all over the world, every kitchen, 
primarily cooks with that oil, which is inflammatory to your organs, makes you retain water, also water retention, and causes, it's carcinogenic. It causes cancer because it's, it's been uh, chemically modified and it's just super, super unhealthy. You know, they claim it, the, the manufacturers claim for it to be healthy, but it's not. It's a blatant lie, as is the American Heart Association who associates themselves with some of those companies by putting their logo on the bottle saying heart healthy. And we have more sausages here, sugar. So yes, the, uh, the American Heart Association puts their logo, the heart logo, onto the certain manufacturers of these, uh, these uh, seed oils. And seed oils kill you. Very, very, very unhealthy. But anyway, wherever I go, here we got clothes. What's that? Uh, I'm just having a little walk, but I will... Did you make a special price for me? What have you got? You got that, that is that mainframe there? Is that a computer bag? Yes. Can I have a look? What color, please? Black. Uh, that one, right? That one, yeah. Let's have a look. So we got little statues of Angkor Wat, Buddhas. Very, very nice. Can you open for me? How much is that? This one, if you want to do 25. 25? Yes. It's a big one. This for the this is for the laptop? Yes. This for the laptop? Yes, yes. But, okay. And this one the big the big pocket here. Can you make better price? 25 is too much. I would say maximum 15. Huh? I will think. Yeah, but it's not real. No, this one is original one. Really? Yes. <laughs> okay, well, I'll think about it. I'll come back tomorrow. But, woman, can you up for me a little bit? Right. I can't. I, maybe. But I'll come tomorrow. I promise. I promise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I, li I, I, I live here. No, no, I don't want it now. Because I'm busy. Oh, uh, I come back. Don't worry. I come back. I promise you. My name is Rob. I live. I, li I live here in Siem Reap. Don't worry. Okay, yes. okay thank you. Don't lie me. Yeah, yeah. I don't, don't lie. <laughs> oh my God. So, so now we got some. She said, "Don't lie to me." Okay. She said, "Don't lie to me." Look at this. That's very interesting. Scorpions, butterflies. And here we have what? A bat, beetles, and a, uh, what is that? Some sort of a lizard. Yeah. Okay. All kinds of stuff here, you see? Very, very interesting. Hello. Hello. Lots of the touristy clothing and the elephant backpacks and clothes, which I do not like. No, it's okay. Thank you, my dear. I'm just having a look. Thank you. I'm not looking. <laughs> I don't want hair, I want my hair. Yeah, yeah. All, all Cambodian women want money. Money, 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 money. No money, no honey. <laughs> right, no money, no honey. No, exactly. Oh my God, so funny. Amazon Cafe, Chiro Skyland. That's a very nice place. So you heard it from the horse's mouth. No money, no honey. Yeah, it's a little bit of a problem in Cambodia. Ah. Uh, if you want to have a girlfriend here, you have to count on spending quite a lot of money on her. Because that's the way they think. If you want to be with me, then you need to, to spend the money. Right? Uh, to support me and, and or both my family and so on. Now that is okay to a certain extent, because I mean, it's the same in the West if you think about it, if you get married, because you're basically doing the same thing as a man, pretty much. Well, at least in my case, paid for everything when I got married. 
25 years ago. It was 17 years later. So anyway, whatever. No money, no honey. Not my food sectors. Let's continue our walk around. What do we got next? Let's have a look. Okay, so this is a beautiful, beautiful time of day. I mean, it, unfortunately the sky is gray. The sun is just setting. And the river is over there. Hello, my friend. What have you got in the head? <laughs> a friendly tuk-tuk driver. Nice. I wish they'd all be like that, but they're not, unfortunately. Hello. Yeah, see, they got everything here. Clothes, food, art, statues, jewelry, you know, accessories, backpacks. And the river is right over there. Which we're going to have a quick look at now. Look how we cross the road. Let's see. That is not so easy. Crossing the road here is a problem because nobody likes to stop for pedestrians because they don't respect pedestrians very much here. I can't get through here. No, they, they haven't been taught that pedestrians have right of way in Cambodia. So basically, if you want to cross over, you have to like force yourself across. So here's the, the, the river. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful with the lights over there, the old bridges. And you can see the skylights, a little bit pink, which is lovely. So yeah, it's more like a pond, it doesn't really flow. Kind of let there's a dam up top there, so they let it open it and close it, and it's just it just sits here. Alright, let's go back. Whiskey what? With steak inside? Yes. Wow. Snake and a scorpion. Oh my god, it's a cobra. Whoa. Why you put a snake inside? Huh? Why you put snake inside the whiskey? You don't know why? Okay. Uh, I don't like snakes. So I'm not going to buy that. Thank you. Yes, sir. So, snakes and scorpions inside a local whiskey. No thank you. Yeah. I just never know if this stuff is real. Well, no, I, I know that. I bought clothing here before. And of course, it's not all. It's not all. I mean, it's falling off the back of a truck, if you know what I mean. That means, that means it's from the factory, but the, it's leftover merchandise that the factory in Cambodia, Vietnam, or wherever it's made, discards to the local markets. And they sell it off for cheap so they can get their money back. Because they over, over, so I used to be in the clothing business, the shoe business, you see. So they overproduce. They, and they can only sell the exact quantity that the customer has ordered in Europe or USA, for example, and then they have a leftover stock. Well, they do them on purpose too, so they can sell more. Anyway, so now we're coming to the restaurant area. So this, well, they've got lots and lots of bags. I'm actually looking for a new computer bag, but uh, yeah, I'll do that tomorrow. It's too late. It's almost six. 5.40 in the evening, so the sun, sun is gone, set, sunset is at 5.30 at the moment, 5.40, kind of early. Yeah, so this over here is a very, very nice restaurant, it's one of my favorite in Siem Reap, it's called uh, Ilia, Ilia Greek Kitchen, very good Greek food, it's actually um, Turkish, Turkish owners, but excellent, excellent Mediterranean food. That's all that matters. I don't know why they call it Greek kitchen, it's actually more Turkish, but uh, there we go. All right, crossing the road again. This place is quite nice too, the Cloud Kitchen restaurant. They make grilled, grilled meats. Right here. Hello, hello, hello. You make, the, you make grilled pork, beef, chicken, yeah? Pork, beef, beef too. How much? How much for the beef, the, the beef steak? Okay. For beef steak, okay, great. Thank you. Okay, so I've eaten here before. Five dollar is not bad. But the only problem is, I'm not really sure 
I think they cover this, uh, they marinate it with a kind of a sugary sauce, which gets cooked off partially in the grilling process, of course. But I remember eating there before and I would know that I was not full afterwards. So that's a little problem. Because the thing about that, they, they, they offer, the, the prices are very, very cheap in the restaurants. There's no doubt about that. You can eat for four, five, six dollars. Like here, for example. Fried fish, you know, that's fish and chips. I mean, but there's your junk food. Yeah, it's rice and there's fried junk food. They give you small portions. This is a nice restaurant. Subject. Yeah, they give you very small portions, so basically you end up leaving the restaurant feeling not full. And the problem here, of course, it's all you know, deep fried rice noodle, which I cannot eat. Hello. Yeah. Uh, Khmer, which is the Cambodian. Cambodian steak is how much? $7.25. Okay, interesting. Thank you. That's nice, nice looking place. But I prefer barbecue. I'm gonna to go to a barbecue tonight, which is an awesome place called Heng Heng Barbecue. All right. Okay, so that's my little trip. Walking around the market here in the center of and we're coming back to where I started from. Oops, a daisy. Hello. Yes. We're here. I, I, I buy. Hello. They sell coffee. Sorry, sorry, sorry. They sell coffee. They sell rice. I, mean, I buy my eggs here too. Hello again. So you can buy about 20, 20 eggs today for $2.5. 20 eggs, 2.5 dollars, think about that. So let's see how much the raw cashews are here. Sorry, how much are the cashews? Six dollars for what? Half a kilo? Half a kilo. Okay. See, that's uh, two dollars more expensive than the other place. Anyway, doesn't matter. So that completes a little tour around the old market here in CM Reap. And just to give you a quick idea, Right up here is where it gets crazy. That is the beginning of Top Street. I'll have a little walk, a little walk over there. Just uh, have a look and show you in a second, okay? And so we are. Normally the, the streets, the sign should be on Top Street, but it's not on yet. restaurants and sports bars and nightclubs everywhere most of the big restaurants are owned by that company there temple temple club they own restaurants coffee cafes hotels it's, in, it's incredible so that's pub street i'm not going to go down there now it's kind of quiet it's early but yes it looks like christmas doesn't it maybe it's supposed to be christmas decoration already i don't know all right so that concludes my little trip around town to give you a bit of an idea of what it's like here. It's very, very nice. Very nice. Beautiful place to be, see and reap. Lovely, lovely place to live, I'm telling you. And mostly good people. All the locals are very, very nice, of course. The Cambodian people are fantastic. You've got a few rotten, bad apple expats to hang out mostly in Soksan Road over there, which is where the, some of the, the nasty, low, low life, I would say. Um, well, there's some low life bars there, basically, where all the drunks hang out. And they love to cause trouble. And I'm not into trouble, so I stay away. All right, thank you very much, guys. I will speak to you soon. See you in the next video. Rob here about Cambodia and robshousecrunch.com. Go there and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And forward this video to people. Bye-bye. And on my way home, 
Hello. I just wanted to show you this little, my favorite little barbecue street vendor here who sells all kinds of sausages. I mean, a lot of them look processed, heavily processed. I think they're, I think they're baby chickens or something, or duck, chicken, liver, chicken breast, pork sausages, pork. Very, very nice, right? Yeah. Good stuff. Good, good quality. Lovely lady. Makes it spicy. I love coming here. I come here almost every day. Thanks for watching Rob's Health Crunch. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. There is more great content on the way from me about Cambodia, health, fitness, wellness, real healthy food and great lifestyle habits. Don't forget to enable notifications so you'll know when the latest video is posted. Until then, here's some other great content I think you will enjoy.